What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. And yes, it's that time for us to finally make it to Sulphur Island. But first, we have a few things we've got to do, so I hope you stick with me. The name is Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, guys, so look, a lot's happened since the last episode. I did go offline and do a lot of just cleanup and a lot of inventory and a lot of upgrading. So, not sure if we did this already or not. We do have our improved Tanner workbench, so now we can make leather. I built a couple barrels. They're both full of clean water, as well as a distiller, because I got tired of waiting on the rain. We did a couple decorations. We have our trophies put up. And now that I'm sitting here, I don't remember if we got this upgraded or not. But here it is. We now have our improved forge. I'll show you some of the things that we've made. Guess what, guys? I made a fishing pole. I did it. I just couldn't wait any longer. I just had to. I had to do it. We also stepped up, built ourselves one of these breathing bubbles. Unfortunately, we can't build the nicer native one yet. We need to make ray leather. and That takes a little bit longer. But we built this thing. This anti-malaria costume, which not only protects us from sulfur, protects us from malaria. And we managed to build ourselves a dehydrator. So... We're freaking rocking and rolling, guys. We don't have much left we got to do. I want to look at possibly building this giant Spanish boat, doing some final preps, and then we're going to head out. Iron trees, tools, rope made of skin, and a dried hide. Holy crap, this thing is humongous. I think if I build this, guys, if we build this, I'm going to have to move the dock. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to move the dock. There's no way it can sit here. There we go. That might be too far out. Kind of have a short, kind of have a short neck, guys. Um, just disassemble it for now, just in case we do need to uh, move it out. Um, oh, we need skin rope. Dude, look at oh, dude, look, you know it. What I don't know is if it's even practical to have it inside this little bay, but we can spin it around. That's all that really matters. Okay. We have almost everything we need. We need the rope made of skin, which I'm trying to think where I gotta make that at. Oh my God, we need dried hide for it. I just need one more hide then. guys i spent like two days and did no inventory management but i'll show you a couple things that i did but first holy crap we actually have enough to do it but i can't kill myself so here we go we are exhausted we're almost done with our boat let me show you a couple things that I did. Nothing too crazy. I did move our little water pots out here because I built the alcohol still. And I've made three things of alcohol, so the only thing I haven't done yet is this. Which, I guess I don't have enough animal tendons, but... We'll build one. There we go. Survival points obtained. Ooh. 
Ooh. We're already back up to two. I just don't care to make snake potion though. Okay. Well, let's go to sleep and uh, we'll build in the morning. Here we go. Six hours. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yes. Take the helm. Look, we're gonna we're gonna stop for a second. Three hundred. We could put. Well, that's like. Honestly, it's about as much as we could put on that boat. I think we could put two hundred and then one hundred. We have a sleeping cabin. I guess we can't. Can we go up the crow's nest? Probably not. Okay. Dude, this thing is awesome. We got a fishing stand. Yes. We just run on it. <gasps> Unfortunately, it did exactly what I didn't want it to do. And that's face it the wrong direction. So we may have to... May have to move the dock to that side. To make it do what I want it to do. I wonder if we can spin it. I mean, we can always back up. Okay. I think it's spinning around. There we go. This thing hauls. But yeah, okay. Oh, <gasps> we built this gigantic Spanish ship. Like, we are the greatest freaking conquistadors ever but we will need to put our yacht <laughs> we're gonna have to put our uh, dock on the other side to make this work the right way i think Okay, dude, I'm not gonna lie, this freaking boat barely sits in the water. <laughs> but it's flipping awesome. Now, if we do this and we disassemble it, what all do we get? Quite a bit of stuff. Screw it, dude. Oh my god. We are carrying 130 something pounds right now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and gather everything that we need. And... Let's go to Sulphur. Looks like we've got most of our stuff done. Hopefully that showed you what I did. We did upgrade our um, our tanner workbench. It's now like I think the best it can be so we can make ray leather. Looks like there's quite a few things we can do. The last thing we need to upgrade I think will be our workbench. And I think we're good. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully we got everything we need for this trip. Um, but now it's time to go to sleep and do a couple last minute things in the morning. Hopefully make that uh, special breathing mask. And then we can head out. This has about five hours left, and then we can make this mask. Yeah, let me show you guys. So if you get into here, here's all the leather. Don't think we can upgrade it anymore. But then we come over here. We can't upgrade this, but we can still upgrade this. 
to an excellent workbench, which then allows us a serpent dagger, which looks legit. Firearms, shot charge, bullet charge, bombs. Holy crap, guys. We got a lot we got to do. Just trying to make sure at this point I have everything I need. Basically to uh, do what we got to do. Okay, guys, so this is what I've done so far while we're waiting on that ray leather to process. I made a leather backpack. I made some leather boots because these bad boys are getting out. I went ahead and repaired my seaweed hat. I built a copper tip harpoon. I just wanted to. And uh, I ran over there, grabbed the leather, and built myself this diving mask. So we're going to check that out here in a minute. Overall, I think we're good. I think we've got everything that we need. I'm pretty sure the boat has about 130 pounds worth of gear, medicine. I don't think there's anything else in here that we need. We're going to sleep for the night and head out in the morning. I'm done waiting. I'm impatient. Let's take the helm. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, you check out this freaking boat. The snake region. Nice. What is that? Okay. Let's uh let's do a little check here. What do we know about this place? Absolutely nothing. Other than look, there's a shipwreck. We need to go there first. Let's go to the shipwreck first. I need some freaking tools. Location unlock. Crocodile Island, Sulphur Isle. Okay. Oh, Malaria Swamp and Sulphur Area. Oh, Caimans, Condors, Frogs, Humas, Snakes, and Rays. Sulphur and Clay. Bread trees, bananas, vines, mold. Hell yes. Now we're here for Sulphur Island, right? That's like our main, our main objective. So we'll go there first. After we check out the shipwreck. I'm hoping to find some tools. Oh, look. There's a flipping cannon. Yes! Oh, I can't do it underwater. We'll leave it there. Can we get that? The muzzle of a... You can't pick up this out. A winch. It, it says available. What's an art? I guess that's the next ship. Oh. Just gonna pick those up. Ooh. There we go. Set of tools. I think now we can build a saber. I don't know if I can touch those jellyfish or not. I don't really want to F around and find out. Here we go. Dude, this mask 
is absolutely the greatest thing. Rope made of skin. Let's see if we can't find a, ooh, like mangroves. That's neat. I don't know if I want to land in the mangroves. That might be the only place we can land. <gasps> that is legit. I don't see a landing spot, guys. We're going to have to go into the mangroves, aren't we? That's going to be freaky. Okay, here we go. Now, it looked like... I'm really worried about walking. It said there's caiman in here. <laughs> so I'm really, really worried about walking through. But there we go. There's our path. We'll just sit right here. Let's go back and look. We're going to put our mask up. Take our charcoal. Fire starter. Spear. We'll take a coconut. Where are we at? Oh god, it's almost nighttime. We probably should just go ahead and sleep. I'm not walking through the freaking mangroves at night. Holy crap. Well, this is going to be fun. I can't see crap. You know, I really thought this stuff said it was going to... Uh oh, oh! It's a caiman. I think. Oh God! I mean, is he slow? <gasps> no, he's not slow. <laughs> Holy crap! He is not slow. I need all the living water I can get. Eh, it's Buffalo Potion. That'll work. What's this stuff? Mangrove palm? Palm fruit. Let's see what that does. Oh, just food. Okay. I do kind of like this though. There's like trails. Is there like a landing spot that I didn't see? Oh look, kinda. Okay. Oh, there's another one I've seen. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Little jerk. Guys, I'm going to get lost. We're going to have to get up high pretty quick so we can map. Alright, now hold up. What's on this island? Condors and pumas. Oh, there's a mapping tree. I hear something. Oh, here we go.
Gotta get all my trophies. Oh! Dude. Oh my god! Where do you go? Oh my god, it's just... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Freaking jerk, find the doctor and in oh my god, yes. It's still going, dude. What else is out here? There's something glowing back there. Probably a flipping puma. I can't hear anything because the freaking rain. Oh, yes. Diary of an engineer about Sulphur Island. Oh. Diary of an engineer about Sulphur Island. Gaspar Castillo, engineer. The expedition of Ponce de Leon in AD 1513. We found some old huts across the swamp. From what we saw, they were built by the Dutchmen who were shipwrecked here. Looks like they died of malaria. And the last man remaining even managed to bury his mates before the disease got him. And buried his remains near the others. God knows he deserves it. <laughs> what? Ricardo is right. It's not just sulfur here. It's a huge deposit of it and a lot of other resources. Ricardo happily set up his camp right here and crafted a sort of laboratory. I've told this blockhead that the fumes are poisonous, but he only mumbled something about the tower where he sleeps and rushed back to the sulfur field. Indeed, if he wasn't so talented as a doctor, this man could have become an alchemist. I might have an idea of how to get through that belt of rocks around Bimini. If the captain does not find the map of the passage to Bimini Island, we can try to build bombs with the local sulfur and try to blow these rocks to hell. Oh, hell yeah. And we can sleep? Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, I see another caiman, look. Oh, he's running. Flipping coward. He saw what I did to his mates. Guys, this is this is flipping cool. What's this? Doctor's note. Yeah, I'm well aware that it's dangerous and sulfur fumes are poisonous, but don't worry. I built a wooden tower and I'm resting at its top where the fumes can't hurt me. Oh god. Built a tower, built a tower. I don't see a tower. I do see some stuff to go grab. That looks like it might be a spot for water. Okay. What's all this stuff? <gasps> Jerk. Dude, I don't like that because I don't know what's coming. Oh, I see it. There's freaking little alligators everywhere. What is this? Just a rock? I feel like I hear him moving. Oh, yep. Yeah, look, there he is. I don't like this. Oh, death, death cap. There we go. I knew we'd find it at some point. Oh, I hear him. Oh, that's a puma. I see it. They call this death cap up. I don't remember what it was for. Okay, we're going to come back and read that. We can, right? Okay. I want to kill this thing first. I don't know if they attack you while you're reading. 
He's kind of like not paying attention though. God bless it. I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't fast enough. sucks oh I, oh I got my layer I got mosquito bites oh no let's put that on let's risk of malaria oh no a bark concoction how do I make that what do I need we have all of that but we got to make our heart pot. Okay. We'll be okay. Oh god, now this dude's going to eat me. Where's he at? <laughs> Stupid cat. Okay, can we read this now? Song of the Immortal's Pride. Long and happy was the golden age, filled with valor, wisdom, and prosperity, but nothing lasts forever. Just as the season of rain always follows the season of sun, wise were the elders, great were the deeds of the best people, but even the strongest have their weakness, and many of the best people wished for long years for their children and loved ones, and started to select them as the marked ones before any others. And contrary to their vows, they told the secrets of the halls to their children to help them pass the trials. And children of their children did the same. And the number of best people grew within their families, and those families united through marriage with other best families. And fewer and fewer people from ordinary families were called marked ones, and less and less were celebrated ordinary people for their deeds. Pride and disdain for ordinary people have settled in the hearts of the best people, and they have called themselves immortals, and announced it is our destiny to rule others. Uh oh. Got some crazy stuff going on. Alright. Let's get in the shade. We have a cut. <laughs> I've like already jacked myself up. I can't do a ladder because I don't have a dang rope. Crap, man. And I bet I didn't even bring those type of leaves. I guess at least we can... Ooh, what is this? Dude, what do I hear? Oh, it's a buzzard. A condor, whatever they call it. I'm going to have to go back, guys, and get my... Uh... I forgot my stupid pickaxe like an idiot. But I guess at least we can map, right? There we go. What? Oh, I got a freaking burn. Of course I do. Yeah, let's go back. What time is it? Oh, we're going to be going back in the dark. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it back. Get our stuff to build a hearth pot so we can <laughs> get whatever we need to cure some of this stuff. I have jacked myself up, guys. Like normal. Oh my god, you sackish. Ooh, bananas. Take those two. Ooh, look, it's a poison dart frog. Ah! 
ほう I don't even want to pick that up Oh god, there he is. I see him. God bless it, man. Holy crap, this place sucks. Okay. What can I do? We'll be able to recover some health. We need to rest. Risk of malaria. Son of a... Cracker. Oh my god. Alright, sunburn's healed. Alright guys, let's just go. That's right, you better run. Look at that. he's like, okay, you got back down, I got you. It is him, right? I don't get it. Here we go. Alright, so now we have the ability to at least make some stuff. Still got risk of malaria. But now we can also map. God bless it. Dude, these dudes suck. There's another one. It sounds like there's another. Yep. Dude, we're still... This is crazy. There we go. Ooh, peppers. Puma. Oh, it shows the, uh, the pathways. Interesting items below us. What is this? Snake potion. Ooh. Oh! Poison frog drawing. A frog sitting in the jungle is drawn here. Poison for arrows is made from the frog. Judging by the stars, these frogs can be found in the jungle only at night. Oh! So, so does that mean I can, like, pick them up? Without, you know, dying? Hunter's Ritual. I can make out some natives preparing some kind of poison from frogs and poisoning a deer with it. The deer does not seem to be able to move and is on fire. The hunters dance around the altar. Okay. Well, I think I remember where I killed that frog at. Anything in here? Oh my god! Book of the Hunt. Living water. <gasps> Little jerk. Now I'll see if I can touch that. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. No, it says a dried frog. It says there's a special item right here. If we turn around and go back. I'm actually really happy I made that malaria jacket. Ooh, what's that? Oh! <gasps> Looks like the killer tried to rest here. He was attacked by crocodiles and fled. He probably went into the island. In a hurry, he has left some of his useful belongings in his camp. I should pick them up. Well, hell yeah. bread apple I don't understand the ship box oh sh shnikes oh wait oh, a bullet charge I don't understand well I know it won't be long before we we can build guns. This mask we have on should protect us from that too. It should. We are wearing it right, yeah. Dude, what happened here? Oh, it's missing something. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, it's one of these things. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Song of the Snakes. And the most skilled among the healers of all four tribes were the snakes, every plant they knew by its name, its virtue, and its harm. They gathered the herbs on every island, knowing ahead where and when the herbs would grow, and prepared their medicines with the best herbs and at the right time. And there were no better remedies than those made by the hands of the snake tribe, and the most terrible wounds were healed and the strongest diseases were cured by the snake's remedies. Nice. That took forever. Now, how do you mine sulfur? There we go. Oh. Just need a shovel. Okay. And how much weight do we have? I don't want to get in the shade if I can. Oh, snap. Oh! <gasps> The ship's doctor, Ricardo, was mining sulfur here oh, so no. that the engineer can prepare fulminating silver for bombs. The killer crept up from behind and drowned the poor man in this fetid lake. The doctor's diary is still here. His notes might help me understand what has happened to the engineer. Holy crap. Ricardo Diaz, ship's doctor, the expedition of Ponce de Leon, AD 1513. Working hard at getting that sulfur, but we need more of it to craft bombs, so we'll be here for a while. Another brilliant idea from Gaspar. He wants to boost our gunpowder with silver and make some silver fulminate. In order to do that, he will sail to the island nearby with silver deposits to set up a camp there and develop mines. I'll join him. And the job here is finished. So we got to go to the Silver Island. We got more books. Okay. I wonder if we can get up here and get out of the sun. Yes. Oh! <gasps> chemistry workbench. And a sleeping bag. <gasps> we can keep it. Where are we at weight-wise? Now this stuff doesn't weigh much. It doesn't seem like... Yeah. Two pounds for that entire... Entire thing. 
So we need to figure out whatever... Oh, saltpeter. Can be crafted from animal reins in a saltpeter pit. Okay, well, let's just hang out for a second, I guess, and... Bunch of mines over here, so a crap ton of sulfur. I'm guessing we gotta go to the... Oh, can we map? Pretty sure I just wasted that, but... Ooh, there's a chest over here. So we're just gonna come out here and get as much as we can. We'll come back here in the morning and get... Get what we need. What is this? Hunter jacket blueprint? Alright guys, well... Let's uh... Let's head back and... Go to sleep. Well ladies and gentlemen, I do think I'm gonna end things here. We've made it to the snake region. I think I kept calling it the sulfur region. Nevertheless, we've made it. And this place is a nightmare. Not only do we have to worry about malaria, which thankfully we built everything we needed for that, there are caiman everywhere. And these things are awful. Nevertheless, this place is resource intensive. So hopefully we can gather what we need to get back to our main camp, hopefully upgrade our ship, maybe twice. Get back here and get as much stuff as we can as we still try to figure out what happened to our crew and who in the hell this murderer is. And guys, we're getting closer and closer to that thousand mark every single day. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if anything, smash the like button and leave a small comment. It definitely helps out. Anyways, again, I'm talking too much. Stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.